Hello everybody, it is the January request video for Redbird Vintage Box. And um, if you are new to us, welcome. And to request an item, you just screenshot what you love here and also on Instagram. And then you send all of those in an email to info at redbirdvintagebox.com with your requests um, attached and then put your full name and January requests in the subject line. Um, the videos and the Instagram items are all posted on the first. It is not a first come first serve situation, but I do start putting items aside on like the second and the third. So it's always good to kind of watch the video on the first and look at the items on the first and kind of get your requests in as soon as possible if um, to have the best chance of getting the items. And um, so on Instagram, it is all accessory items. And in these videos, typically some clothing is shown too for the Lorene boxes, which I'm not currently taking on any more Lorene's at this time. Uh, I don't have a ton of clothing to show, but I am gonna show some. And Marie subscribers, um, just like the past few months, you are more than welcome to request the clothing items. If you do request the clothing, then be sure to put your measurements in the email or just say, this is for a friend or this is for, cause a lot of you will request like for your kids. And, um, and so, um, go ahead and just put that in there because if it doesn't match up with your measurements and I'm going to just assume that, you know, you don't, you don't want it. So, um, so I hope that everybody had a great Christmas season and that it wasn't stressful and that everyone's families are getting along. Um, and I hope that moving into the new year, everybody has an amazing new year. We're gonna make it the best year in the last couple of years, for sure. Fingers crossed. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show a couple clothing items. Um, I have a few purses, some trinkets, and I'm also going to show, I'm showing some jewelry that's not on Instagram, and I'm also gonna show a couple items that I do have posted on Instagram that I just feel like maybe it would be good to kind of like show it to you a little bit closer. So let's go ahead and get into it. One of the first items I'm going to show is this book that I've had for a long time. And I actually, I hadn't given it to anybody um, because I just wasn't sure. Honestly, I was waiting for a subscriber to be like, oh, I'm about to get married. And then I was going to send it to them. Um, it is so the marriage guide or natural history of generation for the use of married persons and those about to marry of uh, both sexes. Um, it's, I wish I could remember how old it is without looking, um, but it's so old and um, some of the advice is, is a little, is a little suspect, but it's, it's, it's fun. It's a fun, um, I should have actually like, I should have made notes. My husband and I were laughing. Um, I mean, it talks about it just, it talks about like literally everything. And obviously I haven't read the entire, like it's tiny, tiny writing. I have not read the entire thing. So if there's something in there, if you are easily offended, I would not request um, this absolutely amazing historic book. But that is up for request. Um, I have these mom and pop mugs that, um, sorry, I have a piece of hair on me. Oh my goodness. Um, so that comes as a set, mom and pop. If for some reason you only want one, let me know because if nobody else requests them, then we can certainly split those puppies up. I have a little shell floral trinket dish. Um, I have this mirrored. It's a little bit of a Windex, you can see. Look at that. Oh, so you can see my little thing. So I got my parents. So also this, you know, it's for request. Um, so for Christmas, I had gotten these mystery Amazon boxes for my parents because my mom said that one of those like Amazon places that resell their packages, like their unclean packages popped up near her house. She was like over the moon about it. So I was like done and done. I'm going to get her like a mystery package of five Amazon packages. So I ordered it online and what happened was when they came... I didn't realize what, I don't know what I thought it was going to look like, but I opened the box and like the first thing on top of the box was like this really like, like a, um, like a Herbalife, Herbalife backpack that was obviously like a free gift with purchase or whatever. Um, and so I was immediately like, okay, you know, I've been, I've been scammed. And so I opened up the other packages and I basically had been 
scammed. I, maybe my, I mean, I don't think my expectations were too high, but whatever. And this thing, this cell phone holder with the little ring light, which I've never had a ring light before, was one of the items, this cute little clutch, um, was one of the items. And, and so I come home and I was like, well, you know, I mean, that's, it certainly wasn't worth the price that I paid for five mystery items, but, um, I kept it and I'm using it. And let me know if you notice a difference in the lighting. I don't really notice like a huge difference in the lighting, but whatever. Um, okay. Uh, Sterling 925 money clip. But, um, yeah, I ordered my dad. And so this is a super, super old necklace that I just wanted to show because I just got finished cleaning it up. Um, I got my dad a mystery box years ago off eBay. And it was just like, it was, ba I feel like it was basically the same thing. This is a whistle charm. Um, and you know, the guy reached out to me like on eBay and was like, Hey, tell me about your dad. And so I told him about him and the stuff that came was, you know, it, I mean, it wasn't like amazing, but it was way better than, than this stuff, which this one was obviously a full mystery. I think I, I think my expectations were just too high. Um, this is carved. If you can hear it. It's like a little, um, you know, tassel necklace. It does, you know, open right here. But anyways, I was, I was, I was not happy with it. And, and this one was from an Etsy shop and they keep emailing or something like the automated emails. It's like, Hey, looks like you got your package. Cause I ordered, I ordered a bunch. I ordered two for my parents. Um, this is a Varen handbag. Super, super pretty, super clean. Um, strap is included. And, um, I ordered like two of the fives and then I ordered like four individual ones because I was thinking it'd be good for like our white elephant thing too. Um, this is Holt Renfew in Canada, which I had never heard of before, but it comes in the box. The scarf um, is beautiful. It's, like it's never been used. Um, and so, so, you know, I opened all of them because, which I'm glad I did because I think that I would have been really embarrassed if I had just given these to two people um but they keep emailing and they're like oh review your order oh you know didn't you love it review your order? they have amazing reviews they have like hundreds of, ama of amazing reviews and i'm like i'm not gonna give them a review so this is a little cross stitch kit that i had found a while ago and that's super fun I'm interested in cross stitching um, I'm not going to give them a review because like, I mean, I don't want to give them a bad review because I do think that, you know, the mystery boxes are completely like to each their own. We have a couple of these lace, um, collars left that I found. And so, you know, that's all original packaging. Um, you know, some of the packaging is not as good. I feel like this one honestly looks like it's been chewed at, which is, you know, concerning. Um, but and then this one is, just, that's the kind of it. And it's, it's just off the, um, it's just off the, the paper. Um, so anyways, I don't want to leave a review because I don't think that, I don't think they deserve a bad review. Like they didn't lie to me in any way. Um, okay. So all of these are postcards. Now, pretty much all of them have stuff written on the back, but if you collect vintage, like floral cards, and these are really, really beautiful. And you know, some of it, you know, it's interesting to kind of see like what was written on the back. If that's something that you're interested in, let me know. And you know, probably like five of these will count as an item. God, look at this teeny tiny itty bitty handwriting. Can you like, what, how, how? Nobody can write like this anymore because of computers. My dear Elizabeth, I'm sorry that we could not come down to the social Saturday night anyways okay um what did I want to show from here I don't really remember
when you're on Instagram, you're going to see bracelets. These three, I did, I think put, I put these three in a picture together. These, this is this, it's going to be just like a little set, little plastic, plastic bagels. Um, and then some really, really pretty cups. Um, and so those are, you know, those are all on Instagram and you can screenshot them here too, but, um, yeah, they're like, they're really, they're really pretty. So this snake, so when I first got this in, I was like, is this a necklace? Is it a bracelet? Is it an armband? And so the thing is it, it so easily, um, is adjustable. I mean, you can make it a necklace. Um, if you want it for a bracelet, it's really cool. It definitely has some wear. It is not signed. Um, but you know, like, I mean, it's, it's really fun. I like it a lot. So like, look, now it's a bracelet. I, you know, it's, um, it's very cool. Very cool. Okay. I'm going to show a couple, a couple scarves. So we've got like some hearts. I think that one's more modern. Hearts. Um, I got in some really, really pretty Vera scarves. I am actually packing up two scarf lots today. So, or two scarf subscriptions today. So it's possible this one has a little stain in the middle. Um, I might try to get that out again. Um, so some of these might be gone, but, um, this one looks like it might have an iron burn kind of in the middle. So pretty. I love the Vera scarves. They are my favorite. Karen is getting kind of like a sideways. I mean, I guess it's not like promotion it's it's she's getting she's getting a job that she wants in a different department with events at the hotel that she works at she's very excited about it and we're all very excited for her it's a good um it's a good thing and she's doing well and her dog is doing well and her husband is doing well It's pretty, it's a pretty, pretty scarf. Other than that, there's nothing much going on. I spent way too much money at um, an antique show a couple months ago. And the same one is coming back, I guess this month in January. It's coming back, it comes back January, February. So I'm going to be going back. And trying to find more things. I'm trying to just find, I'm trying to start concentrating on more like super unique items because before it was kind of like, I don't know. I just feel like, um, like something, so something you guys are going to see in this video is I ordered off of, um, like a wholesale website for t-shirts because, um, Karen style has always been like, pretty glam. And then mine is always, I just kind of, I mean, I'm really like a jeans and t-shirts girl. So this is a Christian Dior scarf, which is really fun. If you like, if you like your labels, um, this is Louis Vuitton, but I don't think it's real. Um, but I honestly, and it's got some snacks and stuff, but it's really pretty, but it doesn't have any kind of telling tag. And I don't really know how to authenticate the scarves and I'm not going to take it to like a Louis Vuitton store because they're going to be like, no, you're an idiot. And then a little, get yourself ready for 4th of July. Um, do this one too. Anyways, I want to start concentrating. Oh, so, so Karen style is really glam and mine has always just kind of been like jeans and t-shirts and, um, and I'll do dresses, but they're always like, you know, like easy to wear, like hippie dresses that aren't like super form fitting. Um, and so I wanted to start doing t-shirts because I'm like, you know, that's what I really love. And I love, you know, wearing the t-shirts, but I hate looking for them in the thrift shops. And, um, and so I ordered from a bulk website and, um, and I, I mean, I don't know. I, again, I, um, you know, for, for the cost, 
it's fine. To, to just make my money back, I would have to charge like $15 per t-shirt. Um, and definitely there aren't enough to do that. Um, this is really cute. And I think it's like that it is adjustable. Um, so you guys are going to see some of them and, um, and hopefully they're just, they're just not my style. They're, 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 and they're, they're big too. Like I wear my t-shirts, like I usually get like a large because I really, I like them long. I like them baggy. I wear them over leggings and stuff. And so, um, and they're like, a lot of them are even like too big for, for me to wear. So I don't know. That's cute. So I don't know. I mean, you'll, 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 you'll see them. They're one of the few clothing items that I'm going to show. Um, the, the main warehouse where we used to get all of our stuff, which I actually haven't been to in quite some time. Um, I had seen on their Instagram, they're actually converting to a, a retail shop. So I'm not going to have that anymore, um, to have like in my back pocket. Isn't this like a Britney Spears hat, right? Isn't this like what Britney Spears wore? I feel like it is. Sweet Britney. Um, anyways, so I feel like this is, so this is Princess Patent Hat New York. I mean, that's definitely not going to fit over my head. I don't know. It's pretty small, guys. Um, yeah. D designed by D Charles and this one has little clips in it too that's fun it's a different color let's look at some clothes so we've had these purses before they everybody absolutely loves them they get requested a lot um, it is super super cute super fun. There's, you know, it doesn't open a ton. So if you're somebody that needs, you know, a lot of, um, space and oh my gosh, there we go. So made in Cuba, genuine alligator. So that one opens a little bit more. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a look, it's a look. I kind of feel like it's just like a designer piece. I've actually had this for a while and I had it in my closet because I was just saving it. And, um, but one of my new year's resolutions is to not be such a pack rat. And, um, I have my little collections that I have. And so I'm trying to not start any new ones. This is an amazing poncho. I love it. It is lighter weight. It's super pretty. I love it so much. This is just like a cute little day dress. It has pockets. And again, you know, clothing in the past has always been just reserved for Lorene's. The Marie's are allowed to request clothing. Clothing is never guaranteed in a Marie. The Marie is an accessory box. Um, and if you see something that you absolutely like have to have and you want to upgrade to a Lorene, we can do that. But, um, it needs to be with items that are kind of shown in the request video. Although I am, I am shopping a lot more. So I mean, possibly, um, Lorene's will open up again. I just, you know, if any of you, if any of you have kids and they've kind of made the transition from like elementary to middle school, or if they're just like suddenly actually doing activities after school, you probably kind of know what I'm going through because it went from me having a lot of extra time that the kids were both in school and they're both doing well and they had some extracurriculars, but it was stuff where like they were on the bus and so they could go and come and you know, I, I, there, it just, it wasn't really that difficult. This is a great, nice, thick sweater. Um, and so, you know, my daughter is going to be doing the musical. She is also doing like a class in downtown Winter Garden, which means I have to drive like half an hour um, to and from every week. Um, and um, both of them just, they, they just, there's just, you know, Harrison, Harrison's doing theater. He's also doing band. It's just, I don't know. It's just, it's just different. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, 
it's like a busy season of momming and I am just still kind of trying to figure out how to best, um, you know, balance everything. But the first thing to go was the shopping because I used to shop probably three days a week um, for like full days. And so, you know, so we had like a huge, huge inventory and, and it was really easy to, that whenever you get a new Lorene in, we had, we already had stuff. Like we basically had stuff for them. And if we didn't, then on one of the three days that I went shopping, I could find something and um, I'm not doing that anymore. So, so those clothing boxes have just gotten a lot more difficult. And, and I have ordered like mystery bulk lots before, and it has always been hit and miss that um, there was one company that I think we ordered from five times. Two of the times were like phenomenally amazing, like amazing. And then like one time was fine. We got our money's worth. And then like two times it was kind of like, okay, well we need to stop <laughs> shopping with them now. Um, and, and, and that's, you know, you know, I mean, I, I know that that's probably a lot of the times the way it is with, um, you know, some of the Redbird boxes as well, that sometimes, sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss, but I do hope that a hundred percent of the time, it's not so much of a miss that you feel like you didn't get your, your $50 worth. Um, because that is always my goal and has been the goal from the very beginning, which is, you know, we want at least one item in there that you say to yourself, I would have paid 50 bucks for this one item. And, um, and I do think that, that that goal is hit 99.99999% of the time. Um, so obviously I grabbed some of the sleeveless summer blouses, even though in most places it is winter, but, um, these were, these are just some of the things that I think haven't been shown or haven't also been shown in a while. This is like a little knit and it does zip up in the back. And I do think that those, the antique store buyout and the storage unit buyout just spoiled me. Um, it just, it made, it was so easy and the items were all so amazing that it, it's made it difficult for me to go into places and only come out with like one item. And also guys, I got to tell you, I, you know, I, I like that, you know, that Redbird, you know, reuses and, and all of that, but obviously, you know, we can always do better. I mean, you know, we still use little plastic baggies for the jewelry and, um, you know, but, and, and I don't like fast fashion, but, but I definitely, you know, I still wear it. Um, you know, I mean, I buy t-shirts from Target and, um, you know, do free people and anthropology. And so it's like, we all know that any of those places you know, there's some bad business practices that go on with that. And, and it's, it's hard to be completely, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Sustainable or just like, I don't know, a good consumer. Sometimes it can be difficult to, um, to be as good of a consumer as I wish I was. And something that's happening is that when I'm going into these thrift stores and I'm seeing just all of this clothing and that, and that like, like oh, this loss was bought forever ago. Okay. We've had it for a, for a long time. Cause I buy a lot of like just classic stuff and, and like a blouse like this at a Goodwill is going to be priced at like 12 bucks. And, and, and I just, I'm, I'm just, I'm not quite getting it. And I feel like something has definitely shifted, but um, I went, I went to a Goodwill that I frequented a lot and I hadn't been back to it for about four months. And I always found really amazing deals there. And I walked away with like three items because it would be like, there would be like a teacup and the teacup would be priced at like $8. And, and it's just, and, and like, and like their t-shirts, their t-shirts were all like $8. And I'm just thinking to myself, Target t-shirts are like four bucks, right? Okay. So these, so we're going to start on some of the t-shirts that I got from this bulk lot. Okay. Uh, but my whole point is that I just feel like, and I know you know, people say like, don't donate to Goodwill, don't shop at Goodwill, they don't pay their employees and stuff. But there aren't, you know, I mean, there, there are other places that you can go to, but Goodwill will still always be like the one that most people donate to, which means they're going to have some of the best stuff. And, um, and it's just, it's, it, it's just interesting. And so we have this like Barack Obama shirt from, from 08, 
which I thought was kind of cool. And I guess, you know, that's not technically vintage, but you know, we, we certainly have a mix of political views. So if somebody, you know, loves, I mean, that's, that's kind of interesting, right? That the t-shirt from that time. And so this is like, so this is like the only one that I really kind of liked out of the lot, which will tell you my style. Nobody requested I might keep it. And it's just this Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and it's got like cows on it. And so my, my box I got was supposed to be, um, um, oh man, I can't remember now, but like these look like novelty print t-shirts, um, graphic tees, or I think it was graphic tees, vintage graphic tees. And, um, and I like, you know, this Charleston one is kind of fun too. And so I think, you know, we, we certainly have girls that are all over the place that, you know, some of these might really like, you know, spark, spark a love in you, which is what I'm hoping because I really was very excited. Like they shipped super fast and it's free shipping. And so, you know, that made, but again, you know, the price still, you know, I, I just like, like I would never, I could never put, I, I mean, I was gonna say I could never put $15 on the t-shirt, but I'm like, well, that's what the thrift stores are charging. Planet Hollywood beyond control. Um, and, you know, and some of the tag, like they're just, they're just, these are, they're, they're big t-shirts. Um, so I don't know. I kind of, I didn't think I really cared for that one, but now I don't know. Maybe I'm liking them more as, um, we go on. I, I really don't know what I was expecting. I, um, I don't know, but I'm hoping that some of them spark interest with y'all. Here's a world's number one dad. Huh? Anybody have a dad that's number one? And so they sent me this one. Like, and when you think of it in terms of that basically, you know, like, you know, 12 to 15 bucks per shirt, like, who am I gonna, who's, but who's even gonna really want it? You know what I'm saying? And, and so that was, and, and honestly, I don't expect anybody to request this. I just, I don't know. And, and maybe, maybe somebody who was there who, you know, worked it wants it. I don't know. I don't know. This is one of the King's kids. Jesus is King. I feel like screen starts best. I don't know. This one's kind of cute too. 20th anniversary. 1989 St. Patrick's Day Parade. So that's kind of fun. That's a good time. Alcatraz. I see. And so I feel like like this isn't exactly, I feel like I've seen this. Like, I feel like this is just kind of sold in like the Alcatraz gift store. West Coast Choppers, Long Beach, California. Mission Bermuda Triangle at SeaWorld. Now this one could be fun, but I actually haven't been to SeaWorld in a while. But when I went, I don't think that they had a Bermuda Triangle ride, which is what I'm assuming this is. And so that could be really cool if that's an old, I'm gonna have to look into that. And that might be the thing too, that I just, um, and so I don't know what the blast of 1988 was in Nevada. So I'll probably spend some of my day today like researching the t-shirts a little bit more, but I had just hung them all up this morning. I would drink beer with a goat on a boat in a box in my socks in a car at a bar. I do, I do, I do like beer. Slammed I am. New Orleans, Louisiana. I think we might take a trip to New Orleans this year if nobody requests this. Maybe I'll just wear this there. Just walk around drunk. This is a dress that I had gotten and it's really, really pretty and super delicate, but the bird is, it needs some TLC down here. Um, so I wanted to show some of these brooches that I had forgotten about. I, so this is App Scotland, Steadfast. And, and so these are all on Instagram, but some of them, I just wanted to show like a closer look at what they are because some of them are just really, really, um, very cool. Um, so this one is a Coro brooch, so it's signed and you can see it's a little knife, but what? That's so fun. And it does have on both. So it could be like, 
you know, it's really, really cool. Okay. Can't with Um, I think that this one is on there and I just want to show it because, um, some of them, we do have some antique brooches this time and they're just really old. And then I don't even know if this is on there, but, um, you know, like a little key ring charm situation. Um, I feel like this is supposed to be like a carved bug. Got one of the little Russian dolls and those are always a big hit. Um, I am super into the micro mosaic stuff and I feel like I keep bringing it in and people aren't super into it. If you love micro mosaic, I have a lot of really, really pretty micro mosaic items. This is an antique, like, I mean, I would say eagle brooch. Love it. This turtle brooch is gorgeous too. And it just has the C clasp in the back. It's really old, but you can see the stone in it. Um, this one, I don't even know. This is Mary, the Virgin Mary, and this is an antique too, but you can see like there's so much wear on that. Um, I think I've had this up for request before and it's a sailboat in the middle and then like little fish. And I think that's so much fun. Okay, all right, I didn't want this to be very long, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. So again, requests are not first come first serve. Um, they are never guaranteed. Marie's and the vintage accessory box one-time purchases. It's all accessories. You should only expect to get accessories. But if you saw any kind of clothing um, in the video that you're like, oh my gosh, I love that. This is my size. If nobody from a Loreen box requests it, then I would love to have it. Um, definitely, you know, put that in your requests because, um, it's happening, um, more and more as I'm trying to get things out of here. And um, so you'll screenshot everything here and on Instagram info at Redbird Vintage Box, info at Redbird Vintage Box.com with your full name and, um, January requests. Um, boxes typically ship within 10 days, 10 business days of your renewal. Um, obviously sometimes it gets out before then, um, if you have any special requests that you want me to look for in the next couple months, because I do have the two big um, antique fairs that are coming into town, definitely let me know so I can put that on my shopping list. And I think that is it. If you also have any questions, go ahead and email. And I hope that the beginning of your 2023 is going amazingly. Thanks.